back for the final and deciding match in this 2018 uh, Imperial Assault Regional Championships from Toronto, Ontario. And for the win, Boardwick, uh, Board Game Cafe, I'm Travis. I'm joined by VJ. I'm um, VJ, no, otherwise known as Never Bet the Pet. And I'm very excited to see this final round. Very epic, because we've got a Rebel versus Imperial. So we've got, uh, we saw on the last uh, semi-final, uh, in the top four game, Piotr uh, defeated uh, Stefan with his uh, Potoon Trooper Rebel list. So that's going to be back here again. And we're going to be he's gonna be playing against Carl, who was also on stream today, I believe. Yeah, earlier yes. on. And so it's Carl's list with Darth Vader, uh, Double Jet Troopers, and Riot Troopers. Yeah. Imperial Officer Rule by Fear Zillow Technique. So it's kind of a cool list that a lot of people are starting to find out that the Riot Troopers can actually add a lot of value because they can hold objectives, they can be reinforced. So this is going to be an interesting, epic battle. Yeah, and both... Uh both players drove down from uh, Quebec today. That's right, Montreal. Montreal, uh, and actually, so did um, who was just on the stream that got you lost. Oh, that was Stefan. Um, Stefan. Stefan. Yeah, so I'm just joking about them with them, with them saying it's going to be a quiet ride home. One of these, two of these guys are going to be salty. Yeah, so. they've got a what four or five hour drive back to yeah. Montreal tonight. So best of yeah, friends, five. it sounds like, and they play a lot in their Montreal community. So really great that they could come to our event, and I hope they had a really good time and. Again, I want to thank VTTV for coming out and streaming this for us. It's sure. very special because no one, you know, we're a small community. That's Imperial Assault's one of the smaller Star Horse games, but it's a nice allows you guys to be diverse. Allows us to be able to see our our game on uh, on YouTube and on stream and Twitch, and so it's really great you guys can be here. Yeah, I, I wish uh, we could be covering uh, some of the Imperial Assault uh, from Nationals. But we've got a busy streaming schedule. It's yep. coming up in a couple weeks, March 16th to 18th. Uh, Imperial Assault's happening yep. on the Sunday. Still tickets available. S tickets are still available at breakoutcon.com. Uh, if you want to come out and have fun, there's a lot of great people. There'll be people from, uh, from uh, Montreal will probably be down again. People from all yep. over Canada. Some folks will be coming up from the States for sure. That's correct. Yeah, I've already spoken to a bunch of people that are, uh, there's a, a group of about six coming from Michigan. Uh, the Montrealers are all coming back. I think we have another friend that's coming with them, but they're all coming back for nationals. Uh, so it's going to be a pretty good event, a very competitive event. And, you know, you can come, you can play Imperial Salt on Sunday if you want. You can pay for the weekend pass, and it covers playing some of the other games for free. Absolutely. It's $20 for the FFG special pass for Breakout Con. That gives you access to the nationals events all three days. Uh, so if you want to play X-Wing, uh, if you want to play... Uh, well, Destiny's the same day as Imperial Assault. Uh, Armada Day 1 is happening on the Saturday. There's L5R, Game of Thrones, Netrunner. It's an awesome gaming event. Come out. And yeah, it's going to be a ton of fun. Toronto's a fun city. A six, man. Uh, but we should focus on this game. Yeah. So, uh, it's, so we're doing now how to Swamp's Raining Freight. So this is an interesting one. So those um, those tokens there, the, the crates again, by the way, Travis. That's okay. I'm, I'm used to them now. It's no surprise. So you notice that if you, if you see that he's got, they each have two crates in front of them, actually. You'll see yeah. two above um, Vinto's head there and two above uh, Boba Fett's head. So they start with two. Now, you can actually uh, spend two movement points to grab one of those crates. So it's not an interact. It's just literally yeah. you can walk up to it. And if you have two more points left, you can take the crate and you will immediately score two points. At the end of round, you're going to put two of your crates in within two spaces of your opponent. So that's gonna be obviously a little bit later. So the strategy I find is, again, it's coming back to what I've been saying all day, the theme, the cheap guys can make really make it fun. So you can bring the cheap guy in, picks up, scores the two points, and basically paid for himself. So Pierre Yves is already starting to do that. He's running a bunch of his cheap guys around and to pick up some crates. Um, he can benefit here a little bit, a little bit because Carl L Carl doesn't have a lot of range units to shoot from far away. Uh, otherwise, it's it's tricky when you try to run in and grab these things because if you leave yourself exposed, then you're going to get hit from long range. Now, con the other side of the flip side of that is that Pierre Yves has the Alliance Rangers. So he can do some long-range damage on Carl L. So it'll be really interesting to see what Carl's strategy is here, whether he tries to spread out or if he stays nice and tight together, because he's going to definitely lose points that first round. We're going to have a quick change here. Kenny's going to come in and spell VJ so VJ can finish his dinner, uh, and then I'll let VJ and Kenny uh, take care of you for the rest of the event. Hmm. So what do you think of this match so far, Kenny? So... 
Uh, actually, I was just talking to one of the guys out there. Nine activations for the Rebels. That's a lot of activations. Yeah, it's a lot of activations. So, really, uh, you get a, a lot of objective control with uh, the weaker guys, like the smugglers. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, it also lets you kind of keep some of your more important people back That's right. away from Vader for, for a while. Yeah. So I guess he didn't have enough movement to claim the crate on the right with the other smuggler. But yeah, just sitting there waiting for next turn. Yeah. 3PO focusing Mac and then moving up. So there is a bit of a difference here in the paint jobs uh, between the two sides. Yeah. I gotta say, Carl's uh, Imperials look pretty intimidating at the bottom of the screen. Uh, not so much the Rebels. Rebels, maybe a little bit more ragtag, uh, less formal. Like once you're done, I'll give you my seat. No, no, it's fine. It sounds better. Just okay. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm just jumping back in here. Not that well. <laughs> <laughs> They're speaking French, the code for me now. I know we're supposed to learn French in high school all the way through. So Pierre Yves takes the 2 nothing lead earlier by taking that crate up on the left yeah. side there, Ken. I was saying earlier that by trying to analyze both squads, Pierre Yves has the advantage of the Rangers on this map, the long range. You don't have, yeah. It's not like shielded where you're going to lose the surge, right? That's so, right. And um, the consequence of that, like the sort of opposite of that, is that Carl has a list that doesn't doesn't have range. That's right. So it needs to be like a lot, he needs to come in really close. So on one hand, Perez can stay far away and get some nice shots, and Carl can't necessarily get in in time to do any damage back. So it's gonna be interesting to see how Carl handles this because he's done a good job today, obviously. So a bit of a throwback, actually my game on stream, uh, I played Carl on this same map and it was shielded. So on the right there, That's right. He, uh, he had his jets there, and my rangers weren't able to really get a lot of damage in uh, getting the surges taken away. Right. It was from the, the flip side, I guess, right, of the map? Yeah. Yeah. Like it flipped upside down. Yeah. So I was on the top, and I had kind of kept my guys in the center because I wanted Vader to come, come up. I was expecting Vader to come up the middle, So I and then I kind of... Hovered around the terminal, hovered around the right side. Now, do you think he'll do the same thing with Vader in this scenario? I don't know. I think he probably wants to be a bit more aggressive with Vader. He wants, I would, if I was playing with Vader on this map, I'd have him move twice with the officers and get right up there so he can uh, start uh, chewing into these nine activations. Yeah. And the very least, you got to get your line of sight to get your force choke. Right. And if you can, if you can get twice, it's amazing. Yeah. Now, he's going to have a little bit of difficulty there in that he's definitely not going last because of the activations, right? right? I mean, he could pass a bunch, and then, but like I said, he's still going to end up having to hang himself out there. So Vader, for me, the very least, should get a four, two force chokes. The force choke that he does as, a, as his action, so moving up a few and then force choking, and then his end around force choke. So it looks like he's uh, bringing up the jet here. Oh. So what I find tricky about this map is that you bring those figures out. So he's probably changed his mind. He, he knows that if he brings those figures out, he's absolutely exposing them to the Rangers. There's not a lot of places you can hide other than the obvious spots, right. like the red in the middle, um, the back where he's got the officer right now, the white officer on the right. Um, he knows this, I'm sure that there's not a lot of spaces you can hide. So even, I think Carl even lucked out a little bit by getting initiative, because on the bottom, right up the middle, there's a lot of red space and a lot, there's a lot of hiding spots on that side. Right. Compared to the top where it's kind of more wide open. I totally agree with you. Like, I think there's a lot of um, discussion. He's right there. That's, yeah. He's, he's thinking about hiding right there. I like it. I like the move. There's a lot of discussion about this map in that it, it's very favored to the one side. Like, if you get initiative and you get that side on the bottom, it's, it's a, you can deploy a lot safer. 
Uh, there's a lot more hiding spaces, so I definitely like that side of the map as well for what exactly you just said and what he just did, which is now he can move up into the middle and have a nice position for next round. Right. And he's safe where he is right now. So he moves up the riots. Riot one, number one went over to the terminal. Um, interesting because that spot where he is, that can be he can be hit by a ranger there. Uh, now it's a riot, so he's got the block to begin with. He's got seven health, and he's got Zillo. So I'm thinking he's just think he's yeah. Go ahead, try and take me out. He did so that against you. Yes. He didn't, uh, was well, he had a jet. He, he brought the it jet. Was a little out. more. Yeah. Yeah. It was a jet. Yeah. So if you actually look, there's a little nook right beside the terminal there, kind of on the right side. On yeah, the top. he's counting right now. No, he's counting it out so right he's now. he's counting to ah. see how far he can, he can shoot to get the, <laughs> the riot there. Yeah. Only because Chopper can also go over there and system shock him, too. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. He, could so, he could soften him up. Soften him up and then take like a long shot and hopefully get enough damage to That's a good observation, Kento. I did not think of that. Because Chopper is always a threat when you're going to go to a terminal. And looking, it's looking like uh, he went to the terminal thinking, well, this guy's going to hulk it out. He's just going to stay there. But you get the chopper, you get the long-range shot. This could be a dead riot, so we'll see how this goes. Um, yeah, and it looks like right now he's trying to figure out the counting to make sure his troopers can get the long shot. I find it interesting, when, a lot of people, when I played them, they do start the troopers out on that far side. Um, is it because of maybe because you're getting a direct cover, I'm thinking? But you're also going to make yourself, uh, you're not going to have that long range shot as much. You might get one guy that's going to get to that spot on the right side. But that's definitely looking like what he's aiming for right now, or he's going to try to do right now. Kotan gives a friendly trooper there, uh, or I like it looks that. like Mac. Oh yeah, so he uh, gave to Mac. Token. Yeah, Mac with focus. Yeah, it's very cool. Because uh, with Mac, if you want to bring him up, uh, he has a special surge ability. Uh, okay, that makes sense. That uh, it lets him get some extra stuff. So Pierce two, and then if he defeats the figure, it's the the opponent has to discard a random command card, which pretty huge, pretty huge. Like you're holding cards, you know exactly when you want to play them, but when they're taken away, it's tough. Yeah. Looks like Kotan's shooting here. Oh, oh, that's not a very good reroll. Rerolls that to a two. Uh, he's definitely not gonna have the range too far. This is worth a try. But he did Five, spend the token, eight. right? Yeah, he can only search for plus one accuracy, mm -hmm. I believe. So he's gonna be short. I think that was a bit uh, ambitious, to be honest. I mean, the Rangers you can you can trust. I mean, it's definitely similar dice, I suppose. But you also made them spend the the block token. Correct. Yeah, yeah. that's true. So it's still. Yeah, that's a good point because now the Rangers can have a shot. Yeah, I don't think he makes it right. Just trying to do the math here, but I think he doesn't make that shot. And you're right, at least the block token is spent. I like the addition of the power tokens to the game. Yeah. Because it's not just a simple, hey, you got a free block. You have to decide when to use it. You might waste exactly. it. Exactly, yep. Um, and I've, there's a maximum, so you can't just bank them and then yeah. do like a six damage shot yeah. before you even roll. You can only have two tokens, I believe, and they you spend can't one be the same attack. ones. Yeah. And only one per attack, that's correct. Yeah. Yeah. Or defense, yeah. Or defense. So I'm gonna have to find out from these guys where they get these objective, uh, these, uh, sorry, these, um, activation. Uh, the activation tokens. They're Sling so fate. cool. Sling fate. Okay, they show up awesome on the stream. So here we go. Carl, Carl is trying to maneuver his jets to get in a little bit of a better position. It looks like. I mean, he's he's got to just make sure. Yeah, uh, there there is what we were saying earlier. That's a nice little hidey hole when you're on this side. And you're moving them up, and the beauty of the jets is they're nice and mobile. Some people are bold enough to go and run up and grab one of those crates right off the bat and, and, and hide, hide behind that spot. But that might be a little too ambitious, perhaps, for him. But I like the move so far. I mean, I, I like that side because you do have that middle area to hide in. Now here comes Perives to try to go for the long shot. I'm thinking, it's looking like it. Is that Mac he's counting with there? 
That might be back rolls double blue, and he's focused so he gets the extra green. Yeah. He's got the damage, he's got the token, he's got Hera for the accuracy. Yep. <laughs> so this could be interesting. I understand uh, he went 4-0 in uh, the Quebec uh, Regional, and did he not win? He didn't win the tournament, though, right? Okay, so unfortunately. But this is great that we end up with uh, kind of this epic battle of good versus evil. Like, how great, great way to end this uh, this tournament. Oh, oh, here comes the softening up. Yep. Chopper softens up the uh, the riot. He's going to take two damage, and he's going to mill a card, and it's... Ooh. Grenadier, oh, wow, that's a, Grenadier. especially with the nine activations, that yeah. could be oh boy. detrimental. Yeah, that could hurt. I mean, at the same time, at that point, you're going to be able to use it. You might be really spread out. I don't yep. know. And you'd have to probably, I mean, it was me, I'd want a Riot to use it because I want to keep my Jets for more of the offense. But whatever, whatever's working, whatever works. He... Um, I said we saw a really good Grenadier today, John C. used against Ivan in uh, the round robin in the Swiss, and it was nasty, man. He got the Grenadier to work, and then he did overrun, and I just felt so bad. He got three damage plus the two on each. Crazy. Took out four figures. One, one activation. So, looks like they're... Okay, he's going to try and figure out what to do with the jet here, whether you commit him to try to get close in to get some points. I mean, you have the line of sight block there where the, um, the smuggler is because the rangers would still... Let's see, one, two, three, four. I don't think they'd get shots from there. Now, okay, so he's going to shoot at the smuggler here. Man, I always question him. I never know. The smuggler can dodge, and it's just so annoying sometimes. But it looks like he's only going to do one cool. damage. Yeah. yeah. So I think Pierre Yves is going to be pretty happy with that. And Alcaro is committed there now. He's technically he's going to be kind of... Range. and Oh, and he doesn't make the range. That's correct. And so here comes the second attack. With the shiny new regionals dice. Okay, so this one's a little better. A little bit better. A little more successful here. And there that's a dead smuggler. Two points for Carl. So we already got the crate, so we basically paid for the figure yep. already. Yep, yep. But you still want them to be on the field and yep. get more points. And Carl probably has the right idea in that you, he's got a, he's playing against a nine activation list. Yeah. Like, man, start, take, start chewing some of those apart if you can. And if he's going to throw them out there, then that's the first, first guy you take. So here's going to be the, looks like probably the long range shot with Mac. Oh, so that's that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is that like an 11, 11 range, I think? So let's see if this works. This would be really cool. i got to be honest. If he gets this through, this would be awesome. Because I, I really think Mac is awesome and underused. I love seeing him in this list today. So let's see here. He's going to probably apply the token, I think. I mean, I yeah. at this point, go all in, right? It's not only that. He's using the token. Yeah. And uh, he he's using Kotun. He's going to get the X out. Uh, oh, yeah. Wow. The riot won't. Unless yeah. Oh, he's gonna. Oh, oh he's gonna, play he's gonna for brace for impact. impact. We've seen that in every stream game today. It's my yeah. new favorite card, really, and it's a great card to have. Oh, you got a copy of it. Nice. So this is adding in that black, and man, it's it can be heartbreaking if he rolls a three, because you're gonna have to say that's probably what it was. Oh, and he does. That's second time today he's done that. Brace for impact, and he rolls a three. I think he misses. Oh. Uh, well, with five, Para. Six, seven. Eight, nine. What is it? I think he's still short. I, want, I thought it was like 10 or 11. You can tell us that right now. 11. So it's so 11. Even, I think he can search for one and he can get the hair out. Maybe. Well, that's still going to be. Five, six, seven. That's still eight, short. Nine, 10. Yeah, yeah, just one short. But you know, he had to make the chance, take the chance. And I'll give Carl some credit. It was a bold move to bring that riot out there to get that terminal. Very smart. It I, is also Mac who doesn't have the rerolls. He still has the, yeah. the Rangers up there who can. Uh, yeah, because V take rolls that. More he rolls that blue to a three, and you're talking it's a whole different yeah. game at this point. Yeah. So just doing. There just looks like they're doing some math here. Probably talking about the ride back to Montreal tonight. Who's paying for gas? 
Okay, so Mac, Mac does not hit. So, man, Carl's already selling me on these E-Riots. I've been thinking about playing them lately. I know that DT plays them. And I'm starting to think about maybe they're worth it, especially if you can reinforce them for their, cause their three point cost, yep. right? I love when you can see their, their hand a little bit, just trying to get a peek at uh, Piarivi's hand. County, he wants to probably have an attack on Hera, I'm guessing here. Looking for line of sight. Oh, for the force choke, yeah. Going to force choke uh, three PO? Is that what he's trying to get at? He's trying to find wh what spot he can do it from. I would imagine he should be able to do it. That's a great move because then you do that. And then you get your end around as well. Take out yet another activation. That'd be kind of a, a good move for Carl here. I mean, that's what I like about Vader in a way is like as much as he's melee and you really got to get him in there, you could always keep him back for a bit and True. potentially do four damage and two strain every round, which is not bad for a guy you're keeping in the background. It's guaranteed. There's no dodging, nothing. Thinking it through here. I mean, he's probably concerned that if he puts Vader out there, then he's leaving him to the the might of the uh, the Rangers. All and here he goes here. So Vader's coming out. He's gonna force choke. I believe it's three PO, but let's see if we find out. No, oh, coach. Oh, it's Hera. Okay, so he force chokes Hera. Good move. I mean, now he can. I mean, like I said, he's now sort of in that middle. It's going to take a lot of heat from, uh, from the Rangers. From the Rangers. Yeah. So this will be interesting. It depends on how his black dice are, right? If he rolls, True. he re rolls too, right? And he could defend. He could maybe ch maybe get six, seven damage total. His, his Ranger aren't focused. So yeah. He won't go for a beta. Yeah. So he might get out of this one. Right, okay. And he won't go to too blue against two black. Yeah. So maybe a good move here by Carl. It depends on what he has in, the, in his hand. As card. I'm going to peek. We have our field report. We got our spy. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully they, they're going to watch this on stream later and they're going to go, wait a minute. How did they know? It's tight so far, 2-2, two, a two, little bit of, uh, I'm glad there's a, you know, there's a little bit of movement out. It's not like they're just completely hiding. They're actually coming out trying to make shots. It's really cool. But it looks interesting. It's like this battle from far out still and like maybe running around a corner. So it looks like one of the Rangers is focused though. I think one of the Rangers is focused. Yeah, it looks like the back one there. Yeah. Which, mm, usually Still. that was my strategy for the day. Usually, yeah. if I feel like the the one I have further back has a harder shot, I'll give him a focus. Yeah. A little Jenga going on in the background. <laughs> Before the win, cafe man, a lot of game gaming action going Young on. Street, today. Toronto, Ontario. Young Street, Toronto, Ontario. Yeah, right near Lawrence Station. Really easy to get to. Is, uh, Focus he has got iron reflexes. In his oh, that's good against Vader. But yeah. Cal, that performance that Cal has for has cards in his hands for uh, for uh, uh, for end to end. <laughs> she don't want it. We got a we got a we got a guest here. We got a spy. <laughs> Welcome. Do we, do you want us to keep your name uh, hidden, Stefan? I mean. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. So Stefan has joined us. So this is great. We get a, maybe we get a little insight because you play these guys all the time. So, what's your feeling here? Did he, so Carl brings Vader out, does the force choke. Is Pierre going to go for some shots on Vader? Or you think no, not? It's no. like uh, the Jets here. You called it. Yeah. You called. You said earlier. You said no. He's not going to waste his two blue on the two blacks. They range. 
Yeah, this is pretty reasonable. Ooh. Ooh nice. He's going to have to reroll. Sure. Unless he's got he something. Good Hera. Yeah. Let's see what he does. I would, I would probably just use Hera here. He pierces the one, right? I would just use Hera and give him four damage. Yeah, looks like yeah, he's spending Hera. So he's going to take four damage because he pierces the one, unless he wants to Zillow uh, or even card Zillow. Carl's got a decision to make here. It looks like he's Zillowing, is my guess. So he's going to flip the Zillow. So that's going to block the Pierce. And he's going to take three damage. Zillow. Zillow is absolutely, to me, a must in an Imperial list. I agree. For one point? Really? Because the best part of it is you can take like really good cards for like figures, you know? And if you don't, if that figure dies, hey, it's now it's a block in your hand. Yeah. Well, potentially it's a block in your hand, but... So that's 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 not a bad attack with an unfocused ranger, I would think, to get three damage on a jet, a dangerous jet. So now he's going back to looking to the riot, who's already got the two damage on him. He's gonna see. Well, he's taking a look at the line of sight. It should be fine from that spot, I think. No, he's, he's looking for a behind three PO. Yeah. Just that, oh yeah, that, you're right. Yeah. The Greedo corner, as yeah. I like to call it. And I think that I think it looks to me like it works. They're doing the old geometry here. So I hear the schools in Quebec are great for mathematics and physics, so I'm going to say that he's going to have this if he's going to figure this out. Kel's a teacher or something. Oh, oh. no. What? He's wow. a teacher? Don't say physics or math. Okay. Well, hey, you have to know angles, right? you got to play when you throw a <laughs> basketball and you know the arcs. And Yeah, he's trying to... It's, this is, I mean, this is that type of point in the game where you, you know, you got to really decide what to do when you open here you gotta make make use of your turns and i think he's being smart and what uh stefan had pointed out earlier like you know why would you waste some of your shots on vader when you're not going to put anything through him so here he goes with one of the oh going back at I'm shooting the jets. the jets i like this move he's going to be is that still eight away again eight away he's going to go for the roll here and he's got the range yeah. but he's only piercing one so one damage. Yeah, I, I would reroll both. Oh, okay. So he's doing one damage. Unless he's got something else to apply. It's exactly what I was telling you against Vader. Yeah. Yeah. He would just laugh at these these rolls. Yeah. Good to know. <laughs> so. Yeah, uh, he's going to take a long shot. Yeah. Always, he, he's going to thrust his dice. And yeah. Always doing it, so. Especially with the Rangers, oh, they eh? Took the damage. I find that they are they're worthwhile for that. Like you might as well. You're gonna hit reliably for you know seven, eight, nine without a focus. And I love that. I think it's cool. I never was a big fan. I actually hated them because I had to go against them all the time. Then I played them recently in Michigan, and I love them now. They're one of my favorite units in the game. Even though the 12 points, it doesn't matter. I find they're great. You can use Call the Vanguard with them. You can use Assassinate. You can use tools for the job. Like, heightened reflexes, amazing. So, third ranger, he's got to just... Yeah, and this is the one that can launch the long, long bomb. And he's trying to decide here whether he goes for it or not on... Because the other thing I guess he could be thinking is at some point he could use it on Vader, maybe. The focus. But what do you think here, Stefan? Do you go for Vader or do you go for the long range shot on the riot? Knowing Cal, he's going to bring Vader right in the middle of his... Uh... Right in the middle. Yeah. So, and he's gonna he's gonna force Py with crates. He's gonna put pressure on Py for crates and uh, taking shots that mm -hmm. he maybe don't want to. Mm -hmm. Looks like he's going down for yeah. the the so, right here. Because he wants that side. He wants the, the right side open for him. Right. So he can he can start moving over yeah. there and hiding so, too, right? Like staying out of staying out of sight. He wants to move around Vader. 11. He's got the range. I uh, I don't know if you take a risk here in re-rolling anything to be honest, because that you need that five. If you use Hera, it's, what's that eight nine? He would he'd be short. And Hera's used. He's got Pierce one. Yeah. So six. So it'll be six yeah, damage. They're just, they're just talking it over right now. Yeah. Riot should be gone because you can't even Zillow. Yeah, I think. They, the riot should be off yep. the table. And it's four points for PY. Three. 
Oh, three, that's right, sorry, it's uh, Riot, three points. Well, that's what you need to do. I mean, if you're gonna put him out there, you, it's on both, Carl on one hand, he has to take some sort of risk, you gotta get that card. Hope that he can survive, and PY, I think at that point, has to get the easy three points. I don't know, I do that. Do you guys think the same thing? Like, I find if you're gonna leave someone out there and I have Rangers, I have to do something with them longer range. I don't want you getting in or getting in close, like Safan was pointing out, now Vader's gonna come right up the middle, and so now he can do another force choke. He also gets to move up two, so that's, that's great. Do you have, um, uh, what's the upgrade for? Uh, driven, driven, driven by, by hatred. hatred. Driven by hatred? Yeah. It's got dark energy and things like that. Really yeah, there you go. That show that so that's a cool thing to show. Nice. So there's where you get, he gets the extra plus one when he attacks. He can also reroll an attack die. And then at the end of the round, he gets that bonus we've been talking about all day, where he can move two and either force choke or perform an attack minus one die. He's got a nice free piece of cheesecake. Cool. So let's see, yeah. is he, can he move up and... Uh, so that was end of round, right? Did they... Yeah, uh, they should have been putting out the crates too there. Yeah. I think they missed that. Oh, did they miss Yeah, the you might have to go yeah. you play Call of Anger. Oh, you played yeah, Call of Anger? Or you got to do that end around. Good call. Good call, Kento. They forgot yeah. to put the crates up. That's all right. Yeah, that's an easy one to miss on this. Uh, because you get, you get them right at the beginning. But... Uh, then you kind of, you get them also if you pick them up, but sometimes you don't really know when you're putting them down. I find this tricky. I have trouble with this because Ooh. I inevitably I feel like I give it away to my opponent. Or singing or something else. Yeah. Oh boy. Yikes. Okay, we're seriously checking Carl's black dice before he leaves because yeah. he's been rolling three he's blocks always rolling. all day uh, Stefan uh, regardless of the dice we make him change dice and he still rolls, he still rolls that he's blessed <laughs> I'm telling you right now right, if you watch all the these videos you're going to see every game he's in he's <laughs> rolling three blocks I play against him every week and it's always like that <laughs> <laughs> okay mental note I'm never playing in Montreal <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so let's Making a, trying to do the math here again. So going back to Vader, one card that Carl does not have, uh, if you want to bring it up here, uh, Deadly Precision. So basically, the start of Vader's activation, he can get rid of X-Mans whenever they're rolled. Any, any attacks he wants. Any yeah. attack. Uh, oh. Command card, sorry. Yeah. Deadly Precision? Yeah, there you go. On the right there. Yeah, Yeah, call. so... Um, I don't know if he maybe wasn't expecting it. If, usually, if you're expecting to play more black dice, then you're not. You don't care about it as much. You don't care about it as much. But with, especially with Han uh, being big, mm -hmm. you want kind of make sure you can mitigate the X Men. So mm -hmm. that's a good point. I haven't used it yet, but I've been tempted. Like when I do a force user list, like a, a Sith force user list, I was think the same thing. It'd be nice to have it against this meta right now yeah. with all these people who are throwing white die even some of the scum lists man you got Vinto Greedo you got yeah. guys who are going to slip away from you because of a dodge nope. so it takes out another elite jet take you out the jet so it's there. a four points he used, he used for era. PY he used for, uh, for the extra oh the for the extra accuracy, accuracy? Now accuracy he or had the accuracy I think he yeah. searches for two okay. yeah I think so that's four points for PY the pressure that Cal, uh, Cal's going to feel now is so he's got to go up for crates. Oh, it yeah. uh, looks like another two points for Pierre for picking up the crate there. So, picked up the crate. Two more for PY. Okay. CPY is figuring out. Getting a jet out for four. 
having crates for two, we could just pay this ranger. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Good move. And that's the way I look at the game stuff on as well. I go, like, what's this figure worth? Can he at least pay for himself? If he gets more, it's bonus. Oh, oh. Uh, uh, call, call of or, Anger? Or just to, for, uh, yeah. Oh, I guess it was, uh, no way. They've each called the Vanguard? Yeah, I think so. Because he he shot what? first, and then he moved over to pick up the crate. Mm. And now uh, you here is But with Call of Vanguard, is. you can't get the movement points. Yeah, you do. You have to use them at the beginning. You no, you can use them at the beginning, right? Can't you? Call the Vanguard? Bring it up again. Yeah, Call the Vanguard, you, you actually have to use, you move, and then you the attack, and then you don't bank move the movement points. Move, and, but if you attack first and then move. I don't think that... I think so. You have oh, to okay. do them. You have to do them together. You have to do an attack. Oh, okay. Or so you're move? saying because he was where he was, he stuck where he was. Okay. Yeah. They both okay. Play Call yeah. Of okay. Vanguard. That's right. That's pretty um, epic for them both to play for Call the Vanguard yeah. at the exact same time. It's funny because it's such a great card. But uh, he didn't make range on the arrow. Hmm. Oh, he didn't make range. Oh. So you had to do the plus two accuracy for Hera there. Yeah. Which is. Uh, so early in the round, it's not kind of restricts you a little bit, I find. Yes and no, because he's still going to play them. Yeah, that's right. He's still going to play them, so. And he did take out a jet there. <laughs> that's true. It was still worthwhile. Yeah, it was yeah. worthwhile. He's chipping away at him here. Like, if you just look at it, ugh, man, it's looking like that PY is getting a, got a really good advantage here. But you're not... As soon as Vader gets in the action, we're talking a whole different game. But still, like it's interesting to look at this board. I, it almost looks like it's the writings on the wall. But he does have. Let's see. I'm just so anticipating what Vader's going to do here. Oh, he does? Yeah. Oh, boy. Just, oh, uh, boy. Okay, so he's going to pick up a crate for two more points for PY. It's the start of the round? Or, yeah, he's got it. Oh, yeah, he's got initiative. Now, would, do you take advantage of the fact that he's put a uh, jet trooper in line of sight now and ignore Vader for now? Interesting. Yeah, he's gonna go for the jet. Like, uh, no. He's actually gonna shoot. Go for, no, he's going yeah, for the he's jet. He just yeah. wanted the jet. I feel he's like going, he's going in your Vader as long as he can. That's what I would do too. I think yeah, that's you're what safer I did in, his, in my game. With yeah, too. safer bet, right? Vader's going to do his thing no matter what. You're not going to kill him right now anyways. You might as well try to take his support out, right? Yes, and if you kill him, the problem is that you're putting so much, mm -hmm. you know... You're investing exactly. so much. Yeah, that's how I lost. So it looks like he converted one of his uh, blocks into a surge cancel. So it looks like he's going to only take one damage, and that's... Or, if or with a pierce, yeah. too. A pierce as well, sorry. So Two, depending on unless if he's Zillow's. Here. Yeah. And he could block with a Zillow card, so he could take zero damage at this point. And you can just went, and you can sense the tension is oh, yeah? <laughs> way up there. Way up What's the there. car ride home going to be like? Oh, I keep yeah, saying yeah, that because no. I'm like, man, no, no, no. can you imagine you guys stroll? There's going to be some good stories for your store. Say, hey, yeah, guess what? We went to Toronto. We, we, yeah, the, we all three of us, <laughs> we came top four. What are those? Those Torontonians don't know how to play. <laughs> no, no, you know what? The, the six-hour drive is going to be on... <laughs> What should I? Should oh I yeah, I, yeah. Know? But you know what? The Definitely beauty, the six-hour drives me nice when you're all rolling dice at the same time. Yeah, those, those <laughs> nice winning dice. Big so sparkly. The sparkly, sparkly ones. Dice. Discussion's gonna be pretty amazing. <laughs> in the car. And you're gonna have a lot of documentation on uh, yeah, camera yeah, yeah. thanks to VTTV. Yeah, it's amazing. It's I was, amazing what you guys did. What you guys did. These guys are awesome. I was so happy when. Victor and Travis were uh, were agreeing to come and do this because they, like, you know, we don't get a lot of exposure and their their setup is so good. Yeah. I'm like, man, this is great. We're gonna be able to watch this later on and see what's going on. It's like Py's moving up, to take a long range or take a shot at the jet. Good call, sitting out there. Oh, I think oh. it's a good roll here. Oh, not bad. Three, I would four, I, five, six. Yeah. For assassinate. 
Yep, oh, plays it. he does. He plays the assassinate. That's a dead jet, son. So that's four more points for PY. Looks like they're doing the count here. It's like I think it's I think it's too I'm, many. Yeah. 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 He's, yeah. He's, he's just trying to figure it out. Talk it over. Yep. Yep. Four yep. Points. Four points for PY. I think he's got him, you know, in a rough spot here. Yeah. He's down a lot of figures. Like I'm saying, he stayed home. Yeah. He forced Cal yeah. had to pick up boxes a lot so that he could force PY out. To but come at him. Yeah. 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 But uh, PY with his list is going to sit down and he's yeah. going <laughs> to. He says, I'm glad you can join us on stream. Now you give us the background about yeah. the player, right? Yeah. I mean, I had I was a little like I got talked about you talk about you guys during the stream today right. and saying I play with this guy, I know what he does here, and so mm -hmm. you're right. I could see it now that you say it's the fun. I could see him that he's like ready to just sort of drop back and enjoy the ride at this point and be unless something crazy happens here, he's, he's on push, his way. He's gonna push his two jet probably to the crates on top uh -huh. on the right side mm -hmm. to try and the, score the, some uh, quick yeah, the points. Canyon side there. Yep. And uh, just, but the problem is that he's open to all his shots. Yeah, see exactly. All his snipers wow. are Yeah, because you can't necessarily, you can't hide forever, right? It sucks because he knows he's going to get all these snipers yeah. shooting at him. But if he doesn't come out, he's not going to get anywhere. And Py is just going to slowly roll to the to the to the and no win. Py is going to take Kotun or Mac, and he's going to try and remove the, the officer. Okay, let's see if you make that call. Just, just, <coughs> just to get activation out. Yeah. Yep. The smuggler has two. Yep. Yeah, smuggler's gonna pick up the two points, right? Yep. And he's got he's normally he's going to come around into the into the canyon. Yep. He's protected by the sniper, so Well he's definitely in a really good position. You see he's yeah, he's forcing exactly where you're oh, uh, yeah. exactly I think you kind of got to do this at this point, right? Get in there, trying to do as much Which damage as you, you can. Yeah. Oh, it's oh. going to use dark energy. Uh, oh, move nice. Yep. Yeah. Likely. Yep. Yeah. He's going to get Hera out. Push Hera out. No, he, she, she's out because she's yeah. only... Oh, she was only one left. Energy. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. Good move there. Carl. Yeah. yeah. Good move there. Four out. Then he's going to... And then you can slice. Yeah. Start slicing and dicing. Then move up to Mac. Yep. On his end of the round. If Mac stays there, he won't. Good move. Oh. Oh. Nothing really not the, but that's ew, that's not enough Is to kill three He's got to reroll that red. You do have. That's probably the play. Yeah. Yep. Reroll the red because. Oh, he oh he's got the, the extra. Yeah, that's right. I love how he did that. I do the same thing. Just add. He that. does have the reroll here. Plus one. And yeah, it's a dead three peel. So two more points for Carl. I told you, hey, <laughs> you're never out with Vader. No. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and he hasn't been touched. So you're right, Vader. You leave him hanging. It's hard to know. You ignore him, fine. You leave him around, man, either way you're going to get punished. So Carl's keeping it interesting here. It's going to be a fight to the end. Yeah. Yep. Uh, looks like the smuggler picked up one crate, picking up another crate. Two crates. So four, four points, points for PY. It's a good battle. You can see he's got quite a lot left still though. He's got Gideon can focus up. Kotun's still there. At this point do you get Chopper to run in and hack at Vader or you just leave him on the terminal and you know with Chopper on his terminal? He's leaving the two uh, officer uh, not out. getting the card. Yeah. yeah. He needs the card to zoom. Yeah. So that's smart play. So he's got he moved up the officer. Looks like he's going to get the officer to um, do an order to move to move another jet in a better position, I think. But or a riot. I know there's a riot hidden behind that pair of jets. I love that. I love how you can bring those graphics up. So cool. So he, he orders the jet to move up too. So gets the jet in a bit better of an offensive position so he can move up. 
Uh, he's still pretty far out unless he's just going to go for the points. What do you think, Stefan? Is he moving this up to get the two-point crate at this point or, or just to get him up in a little closer in the action? He doesn't have any shots. With it. Yeah, so I mean, it's not going to be a waste, right, to try and go at this point? If you're a PY at this point, are you thinking you've got this game? No. no. He's afraid. So he, he, knows all, his, he knows all Vader can kill yeah. his list. I was just going to say, how do you handle Vader now? Mm -hmm. He's in your face. And all your guys are like short range, more short range damage. Yeah. Or, or Sorry, uh, long range damage. So getting in their face is going to be not the best in your best interest. Probably PY is going to try and get the two jets Okay. before Vader. Mm -hmm. Regardless if Vader is in his face or not. Mm -hmm. Got a big decision to make. Okay, he's going around the corner here. So bringing Kotun around the side, seven. eh? Wow, interesting move. Just preparing, well, I guess it gets him out of there from Vader, right? And he's getting his expensive units out of Vader. Yeah, get him out of the way. Yep. Smart move. Gonna leave a two-point mark. Uh, yeah, I think he just left it. All right. Yeah, forgot he had shared experience there. Yeah. Which he he actually I was over there and he actually uh, did that for rule by fear. Mm -hmm. So he's had it the whole game. Oh, sitting just sitting there. there. Oh, that's and a good he point. Picked it up a few times. That's a good point. Pick up the crate. Yeah, he's looking at where they can go there. Okay, no. So he doesn't want to take the crate there. He's checking with the other jet. Maybe he can grab the crate and hide in that corner. Yeah, I like that. I mean, he's still moving him up. You're getting two points. I mean, like you're saying earlier, he's got to move up at some point because PY is just going to stay back, right? So Stefan, how many how many people do you have in your your gaming community for IA? Actually, beside uh, Cal's brother and mm -hmm. uh, another another guy, Jean, at our uh, store in the the Jujube, mm -hmm. we're pretty much six, sometimes that's seven. Not bad. I mean, for IA, yeah. that's that's not bad. Yeah, okay. We're about six. We're playing Thursdays. Here. So. Same here. Yeah, yeah Thursdays six. Fun. Yeah, we played this yeah. last week. You got three games in while you're visiting yep. from Winnipeg, Ken Seventy. Uh, Community in Winnipeg is a little smaller. Yeah, we did get we got six people out. Uh, we play monthly, mm -hmm. but uh, usually it's three or four. Okay. So, but we didn't have any until uh, well, it started last December. Mm -hmm. Last when? December, nobody was playing. Wow. IA and wow. We, me and Carl started at the national, the last yep. national when we saw it. Yeah. And some of the guys jumped jumped on it, so uh, yeah. it's a fun. It's a fun game. I'm really enjoying it's a, it. It's a chess match. With, yeah, it is. With the uh, Star Wars uh, characters. With actually the characters that you <laughs> see in the movies. like and Especially with the fixes now. You got Peter, yeah. you got Han, Han you got Solo, Chewie. Chewbacca. Another They're all awesome. With the oh, another two points for PY. And I guess Carl got two points. Did we get that earlier? No, we missed it. Earlier. Okay, so Carl got two points as well. Okay. So, uh, one thing with Vader that was interesting... Um, if you want to bring it up, Victor, parting blow. Since he has Vader so far up, when uh, a figure passes by, uh, he can perform an attack. Um, He's got I don't. Stick. He I does. Think, okay. I don't think. I don't see it here. Mm -hmm. And I asked him when we played, and he said he didn't. But I, when we played, I was just so worried about that. Hmm. I'm just like it's because I had Han right beside him. Yeah. And it was just... If you move on out, you're thinking... Yeah, you're you just hit. get sliced. So, interesting. I don't know if uh, Pierre thinks that he may have that or oh, he maybe not. Stick. Yeah. Oh, he knows it, eh? That's the problem, though. Man. When you're no. so, we play well, each other yeah, all the time. When you play each other all the time, you know exactly what your uh, buddies are playing. He's 
he's gonna slam Vader to get him out one one space. Oh, oh. Two, two damage on uh, Vader there. And then he's gonna get Vader a bit. Uh, I thought he would. Uh, oh, he didn't Vader bother to push him back a bit. Yeah, yeah there you go. Okay, yeah. That's smart. You also block in the line of sight if. I mean, not that the Jets have an activation right now anyways, but... So, let's see, Carl but still has... Because with his head of round, if he wants to go, you know, head-to-head, -head, yep. he's only has Mac now. That's right, yeah. And I don't know if Mac has... Uh, Mac didn't move yet. No. So he, he, will, he will have to force choke. Yeah. Right. That's the only thing that... Yeah. So he's going to have to clear out of there. Or if, he's, if he has a card in his hand. Or... Yeah. So he moves it back because uh, Chopper just went. Yeah. Now he's safe oh. to get a card. The problem is that he knows that yeah, he has single purpose, I think. That's right. Oh, boy. I was just about to mention Oh, does that. he have that in you there? bring it up, Victor. Single purpose? Single purpose command card. Oh, boy. I used so, it a couple of times today, oh, so... Double force choke? <laughs> yeah. But no, uh, it's a double... Uh, on, on, the, on the left. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, with Chopper, he can just system shock you twice, and you're taking four damage and two strain. Yeah. Yeah, it's been done to me recently. Yeah. You know, you don't see that card a lot. Oh. You used to see it a lot. Is Where that an intelligence leak? Yeah. Oh, intelligence oh, leak. Oh, yeah. So he's, is, uh, he's got tough luck, yeah. and what else is in there? He got my... Uh, my uh, oh. And so... Uh, oh, yeah, that's, that's right. Yeah, we, we saw that. that. We went, oh! <laughs> <laughs> we had a bunch of those that year game. We went, oh, no! It was a huge move. So it looks like looking for a fight and one card is in. Tough luck, I think. Tough luck. He got rid of tough luck. So all he has to do is take a damage and he can get rid of the card from being played. Yeah. Looking and for a fight, it's a, uh, you can move up one square. I right. Think. Yeah. It's for brawlers. You can move up one square and uh, you get a power token, I think. Well, and you're right. Getting Mac hidden on the other side, mm -hmm. out of line of sight. Yeah. Wow. Vader's like, where'd everybody go? But it's probably like the movies. Vader comes in and goes, whoa, get out of here. Yeah. And that's end of round. And they should first place, well, the uh, first place cards. the, yeah, draw cards and then place the tokens, the crates, I mean. And, yeah. yep, now he's remembering, yeah. This would be interesting. I mean, what, do you just put him by Vader? If you're PY, just put them near Vader and hope that he has to waste some of his points to pick them up. And Carl, where's Carl going to put his? By He's going to put him in the canyon, probably. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That <laughs> would be dirty. <laughs> Man, imagine you put him, in ca put him in the canyon and then go in with your mobile, uh, mobile jets your and jet go growl a bunch. Yeah. Oh boy. This could be interesting here. There you go. No. No? He's gonna push. Uh... You only had one. Thing. He only had one to place, so he placed it where Vader can uh, oh. protect the crates. <laughs> Which at this point you're hoping uh, PY is going to run everyone out of there anyways, right? Looks like he uh, forced choke chopper here. Yeah. That's the gate. Oh yeah, yeah. lost the gate. That's a pretty pretty big burn. Yeah. So now initiative goes over to Carl. We know there's no call of Vanguard. Yeah. Hmm. Mm, let's decide what to do. So what do you do at this point? Stefan, first. 
Okay, you got Vader in there. Vader's obviously going to want to try and go hack somebody up. Yeah, I think you got Cal, Cal should, well, he probably will move Vader in there. You keep he's got to follow. He doesn't have a choice. He's got to follow. But his problem is that if he goes on pop, the yeah. Ranger is going to go on the other side to snipe him. Yeah. Or snipe the, the, the Jets. Yeah, he goes for it. Okay, okay so the Rangers. looking for a fight. Yep. So he gets the one free movement point. Looking for a fight. He's going for the Rangers. Yep. So you get you get the power token, and then you get to move a space. Yep. And then push a figure. If oh, you want. that's a decent roll. He reroll the yellow probably. He gets the plus one damage for Vader, if he Six, remembers that. Seven, eight. No, he won't reroll. And he gets Don't a plus one to, for Vader, right? Yeah. yeah. So that's death. So that's four more points for Carl. So this is where, as you predicted, Stefan, that you could come in and start doing some real damage with yep. Vader. Uh, line of sight. Oh, is that line of sight on the smuggler? Because he has one more action, so... Oh man, I think he does have line of sight on the smuggler. Does he, already, does he already have a damage on him? He does. I thought he did earlier. Yeah. That he looks like line of sight. Here. Yeah, right it's there? behind. It's right in front no, of him. He did. He definitely. Uh, yeah, he's taking the two damage. Two damage and. Uh, or no. Maybe or is that just a number for the smuggler for the no, num number two? Just put his two oh, right here. Down. Oh, oh no, okay. yeah, it's it's just his token. Yeah. yeah okay. So Smuggler's still alive, but hey, you had to use it on somebody. And he uh, dropped positioning advantage. Yeah. Which is, uh, yeah, so make him, make him pay, pay. Usually that, it's, uh, kind of helps in a pinch. Yeah. That's it. No, what's interesting is PY will either come and pick up the six point. Yep. Yep. But he's going to, like, sacrifice that unit. Yeah so that the Jets won't come in and pick up the six points. I think that's smart because you don't, the other thing too is the Jets are going to come up and not only are they going to get six points, now they're, they're moving up anyways. It's almost like you're just giving them six points for free. You might as well just take it out of the equation and look at, you're calling it right now. It's like he's going to do it right now. He's taking up four more points for PY. Wow. Smart move. If he doesn't do it, you know Carl's going to do it. So... Anyway, they won't, even if the officers goes to uh, for the, the terminal, it doesn't, it doesn't matter now. Yeah. Not at that point. Yeah. You can even use that one officer to get in there and take that last crate, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. No, maybe not. You're one short. Oh, a little riot. A little riot right in the get face the of Chopper. I think it's the first riot attack I've seen all day. You can uh, bring up the riots, Victor, there. Yeah, riot Trooper. Rolled, uh, rolled oh, he got a, got a great elite, roll there. Elite? Yeah. And he can re-roll uh, one because he's got... Right. I know. Chopper's out. Well, three points for Carl. To search for plus two, search for plus one. Wow. And a re-roll. Wow. i got to start wow. using these guys. Yeah, but, you know, like I told you... He's gonna sacrifice a unit to pick up the that's points. Right. right. Hmm. That's what he did. Smart move. Wow. It's still a close game, yeah, it's man. Still pretty close. Ten points. Wow. So got 44 minutes to go. Tell them they got 44. Okay. 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 Oh, he's shifting his unit. Yeah, because now he's staying away from Vader too, yeah. right? Uh, I had I played this map at the Michigan Regional. I did a similar thing. It was a Vader uh, list, and I just shifted over to one side. I was hoping to take pot shots at everything else. So I think he's doing a... I love the way he has them nicely hidden out of sight. They can still poke their heads around the corner. It's a great match. I love how he... Uh, you Carl, just have to leave it. Just, you just have to leave his his cartoon and Mac yeah. uh, far away so the jet don't come around yeah. and get shot. Yeah. 
at the... Yep, that's perfect positioning. The one away from the edge there. On the right side, yep. yeah. Okay, on the right side. So he, he's got to he's gotta stay in the corridor. Then. Yep. And with the Jets, you want to be super close. Yeah, because long yeah, range does next to nothing, yeah. <laughs> so if we're trying to decide on a move here. And decide what to do here. I mean, it's tighter than it looks. Like, it, I mean, as much as it's ten points, so many things can happen. Sense the tension oh yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> for bragging rights. Uh, believe me. <laughs> we'll never. Here at the end, regardless who won, <laughs> who wins, sorry. Yeah, whenever you guys uh, get together, you just like put it up on TV the, now. Uh, and remember this? Or get oh, yeah. the, uh, the plaque. Screw you, VTTV. <laughs> no, actually, they're coming down in Montreal, uh, so oh nice, so it's pretty fun. Yeah. Oh. Nice. That's a oh, Are you interesting. guys coming back for nationals? Yep. Great. It'll be a bit more. Good, nice. good. He's trying to decide here if he wants to use his focus ranger to shoot Probably at go at the, No, at the... At the jet? The riot. riot. Oh, the riot. So okay. Just get the, oh, he's right on the corner. I corner. see. The Greedo oh, corner. It. So no re-rolls, yeah, but... I like to call it. The Greedo corner. Yeah, because he can't shoot back. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I, I know what you're saying. Yeah. What did you play? Oh, oh, is that what he had? Oh, 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 you're kidding. Oh, this looks like it could be good. Yikes! It's not bad. I mean, you know, the two is not great, but he's got six damage. Yeah. So it's my with the block. Yeah. And he could decide to would he Zillow here? Do you think? Like throw a card away? Depends on what he has in his hand. He's yeah. Cal won't, won't need a, needlessly spend card. Yeah. Very his efficient. Unit is not dead. If the unit goes away, he may. He may be forced to. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's going for a long range. Oh, yeah, to, to get the reroll. And the token is out now? Yep, token's gone. Oh, oh wow. you're kidding me. Three. <laughs> Check this guy's dice. Although, he only needs two. Yeah, well, he's got yes. Pierce one. He's got Pierce yeah. one. So right now it's oh, showing. He's going to reroll. Oh, is he rerolling? So, uh, as long as he doesn't Zillow, he's gone. He knows that Cal has but, tough luck in his uh, deck, so. I. So only it's one. Only one. It's disappointing. And he's going to take the one. And that's exactly what I was telling you about Ranger with two blue dice. Yeah. Not, not going to pay off all the not time. always. I mean, he did what he had to do to at least try to chip away at the, the riot to get the points right. Yeah. To force closer to the end of the game. Now does Mac come, comes in on top to finish the riot? Or I, I was thinking that. I thought maybe Mac could pop in at the top and back out. Yeah. So if Mac does it he can, and he surges, he gets the their crit, his critical hit. Yeah, that's right. You can uh, command card? get rid of a, a command card, which is pretty good. You just gotta hope you hit a roll of surge there. Okay, so he's gonna go with the officer here. He's gonna play planning. Planning. Nice. Get some better cards in his hand. Or more cards. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're right. Actually, at this That's point, too. <laughs> just get whatever you can to throw away. Yeah, he's hiding his officers from uh, ah, yeah. smart. I wondered that earlier. I was like, I wonder how how much of a chance it would be for them to come around the corner and snipe him. Yeah. 
know that you, you see the game shift. Yeah. He probably wants the middle, and uh, P.Y. doesn't want anything about the middle. So. Yeah. Pretty interesting. Oh. Pierre's got his own uh, planning there. <laughs> Both so it looks planning. like Pierre only has a couple cars left in his uh, deck there. Yeah, it's getting near the Which near actually the end. makes Force Choke a little more potent. Yeah, so that's he has true. To play, he has to take the damage. You're absolutely right. You can't just strain throw out the card. <laughs> oh, so it's like Gideon, uh, Gideon way, all the way, back. way back. Just, just to protect him, I guess? Yeah. He doesn't want to give uh, points neat needless stuff. Yeah. It's points denial. Depends on where Cal wants to put his crates in his next. Does he have crates to put, put in? Uh, it doesn't look like. I mean, P P P Y's got tons. No, I don't, Charles does. No, because he's got six. Yeah. Oh uh, well, there's two. Yeah, there's still two. Uh, four. Four, eight. No. It's eight in total that you've got on the map. Yeah. You've got six there plus the two. So Cal doesn't have any to place. Hmm. See, what he, see what happens here. He's bringing the jet up the middle. So what's he trying to do here with the jet? Oh, he was just commanding with the uh, officer. Yep. Okay. So getting the jet, I guess, a better position to move up and Ooh. shoot at that ranger. Yeah, no, Mac. 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 Oh, oh boy. Let's see if he rolls the surge here. Oh boy. There you go. There's the surge. I don't know if he has range though. Yeah. Four. No, five. Can you re-roll? It's on five. Mac? No. Mac? No, I don't play Max. So, so Max. Uh, yeah. No. I don't for? think he's gonna hit this. Unless he's got a special, he's got something up his sleeve here, like a blitz for an accuracy, or... Uh, that's got to be disappointing. Yeah. He didn't, and he didn't make it. Oh, his, uh, his man. Man. He'll be all right. Well, looking back yeah. at it now, it'll probably be fine. Yeah. But... Well, I suppose you could have Zillowed too, right? A card if you had to keep him alive. But and believe me, Cal or he gets nice on too. him to say, "No, you can't play yeah. your hit." Don't yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he's gonna tell him in the car. <laughs> <laughs> so Max' critical hit is Pierce too. Mm. So. It looks like he has one left. Yeah, because I think it's a, yeah, he's got five and a one, so it's one more left. Because I told him about the five down earlier. Seven eight Seven, picks up eight. two points for Carl. I like that move. Although now Kutun can poke around the corner and shoot at that uh, jet. Oh, and then he's going to gain the movement points to pick up the crate. Yeah. Oh, that's a smart move. That's so, move. so he sh and he's full. He's full. Oh no, he's got that one. Uh, he earlier, yeah. yeah From that right. one, yeah. Two for Carl. Okay. And then after his, yeah. after this attack. Yeah. Just see if this scores. Are right. This scores are right. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And I told them forty minutes. So he just uh, attacked, and then with his free flyby, he should be able to take the uh, crate. Yeah, there <laughs> so two more, two more points yep. for Carl. Yep. Oh, that's pretty tight. <laughs> I mean, yeah, running away from Vader at this point is... You're not going to get any more points from the figures. But at the same time now, Carl collecting those two crates, you have to put them down. Hmm. We, got a, we got a game here. Six points, oh man. That's Vader for you. Yeah. Can't you can't count them out. And now Kutu is the play, right? Yeah. The two jets plus the two officer is enough to win for everyone. Yeah. Kutun. There he's missing one point, but at some point that crate will yep. pop out. So right. It'll yeah. Be right there. He also has a smuggler still to go. 
this side. Uh, yeah, right up the top right the there. Terminal? Yeah, at the top right there. Yeah, at the um, in the, the one that took the. So here comes Kotun trying to take out this riot, and looks pretty good. So unless he's got something fun here, it looks like a dead riot, which would be three, three more points for PY. Do we think? Mm, yep, three, three more for PY. Hmm. Yeah. Wow, it's still a tight now game. One officer and two jets. Yeah. Yep. Oh, the problem is the smuggler the terminal just yeah, to get the card. That's not smart because I think Vader can still uh, force, force choke. choke him. Yeah. To kill him. Uh huh. From that range. Oh, you're right. You can come around the corner. Yeah. Aye, you're right. All right. Yep. Yep. You can move up too. Ouch. Right? Yes. Oh, he just gave him two points. Oh man. Gave him two points. Looks like close got, So end of round close. looks like here. The drawing cards and end around effect with Vader coming up. No, and if he remembers see. here, you can. If uh, Cal sees it, he's going to take it. it yeah. Sure. yeah. Oh boy, here it is. Okay, first it's mission effects. Yeah. Mission effects, place, place crates. Oh man, it's going to get a two point for nothing. Here's the thing Carl can put them down that cliff there on the right. Now, technically, couldn't have couldn't he have used force choke to hit Kotun as well? From where he is, he can move up. Probably, but yeah, Kotun is fresh. Yeah, might as well get a free get the, free smuggler out of it. Yeah, and an activation. Look at that temptation right next to the jet, eh? Just uh, temptation. Uh, Oh, wow. Oh, it's going to be an eight-point swing. P.Y. has initiated. It's going to end up passing, yeah? The Vader. Oh, man. Do you think, do you think Carl will remember the Vader force choke to get the smuggler? Oh, man. If he is... Oh, it's getting tense here. Oh, yeah. The game is still up to grab. Yeah. Now, at the same time, he could go for the smuggler. Depends on if he wants to be greedy and go for the ranger. That's what I'm wondering. I'm like, in this case, you could go for the ranger. And if he's got to take initiative or something. Yeah, if he has to take initiative, yeah. we will go yeah. for the ranger. If not, I'll we'll see. Yeah. Or if he has a uh, face to face. No, oh, he played it. He played, played it. it. I think he played it. Uh, what else could he use? They have fleet footed? No. Oh. Yeah. Alright, oh, he's going to so move his two spaces up to the. Oh, uh, and force choke. Ah, force the choke. Five. That's yeah. Ah, that's easy. Four <laughs> points for Carl. <laughs> oh, man. Interesting. Wow. <laughs> this is a good match, boys. Wow. Okay then, and he's got all those crates sitting right there. Yeah. Okay. So he used field no, supply. No. No. He's under. It's under him right now. So he's gonna have eight points coming. Oh, is that fuel, fuel upgrade? upgrade? Yeah. So now his jets are gonna get extra movement point so and that's, uh, six points of crates. Oh man. Well. For yeah. uh, Cal with his jets. Yeah. Oh boy. And there's one one under Vader. Yeah. But. So, you can only get three probably, but four, six, Maybe yeah. eight. Yeah. Wow. This is interesting. Now, what do you, so, let's see what they're going to play here. So, PY's got the initiative now. It doesn't look oh. like taking initiative has been played. You know what? If he's pushing everybody down, PY, yeah. it's going to force Cal to place two crates near where PY is. Yeah. But without Cal getting a chance to go back, yeah. And he gets the officers, so that's four. Yeah. Couple he, of he could leave Gideon alive at the very top. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. that he doesn't have to place a crate in it. Yeah. Although, getting a kill on Gideon, I think, is something he must have. Double moves get in though. He can have a couple of crates. Yeah, we might as well do that. He's yeah. not long for the world anyway. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. yeah, if he does, if he, if he gets two crates with Gideon, 
then oh, all here we go. Run to the other side of the map. Two more yeah, points for Ky. Figure. No, for Carl. Or Py. No, uh, sorry. Yeah. That's it. Ky. Yeah. Ky. 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 Yeah. Interesting. Sorry, Victor. Can you bring up field supply? Field supply. Yeah. I'm just putting the left there. I think Pierre played this at the beginning. Oh nope. He did. Yeah, he played this the round. at the start of the round. So you did. He gave um, Mac and the Ranger there a couple Some of power, power tokens. tokens. That's pretty cool. And they also get to reroll there. So Jet he moves in and gets two points for Carl. Still tight. Now he's going to use the other jet to pick up four more points for Carl. Yeah, this oh, wow, is... this is tight. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you don't want to take a bus back to Montreal? No, it's amazing. <laughs> you, you cannot ask for a more exciting final than that. Yeah, That's true. you're absolutely right. One point, 30 minutes ago. Yeah, this is great. Gal is putting a show on. He this was great. way down. Yeah. This is great. One point, 27 we'll minutes to go. This is going to be interesting. It's going to take some smart maneuvering here. We'll see PY with, with PY oh boy. So he still has Vader. He still has the. Oh. Age. oh. Gonna shoot the one of the oh, look at this. in the back here. Look at this. Dirty little smuggler coming in from behind. Yeah. Well, he's gonna have a reroll though. Yeah. Cower. <laughs> he's gonna cower. Bop here. Shoot him in the back. Yeah. <laughs> Great, I got a song in my head. Play tools for the oh, job. Oh, tools for the wow, job. On wow, on a smuggler. smuggler. Don't see that very often. Tools for the job on a smuggler. Wow. Bold. Added a uh, green. Oh, he added in a green, eh? Wow. Interesting. Normally you add a red. Yeah, most people that's, add a red. That's well, usually the no, flag. Because he wants well, his shirt, his search yeah. for uh, the stun. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Mm, right. Although you you kill him with three. Well, he can re-roll too, right? So did oh, he yeah. re-roll yet? Or does, does P.Y. Talking P.Y.'s it. got to talk first. Yeah, they're going to yeah. talk about it. And does PY have a? Does he have tough luck stuff, or did he have uh, it? As well? Both of them are. Oh, okay. He does have tough luck. Oh boy. They, they do, sir. So Pierre probably has it if he hasn't played it yet. Because I don't think he has. I think he got. So he got I, Carl's he, out of his hand. Yeah. Well, probably the officer is dead. Probably. Yeah. I think so. Mm. A smart little backdoor maneuver there. And Sears is trying to work it out here. He's got a pierce. He's got a pierce and a stun. He'll yeah. probably do the pierce if Cal blocks it. Blocks it. It's too, uh, it's an, uh, he, because the the uh, the officers. Uh, right, because he gets Zillow. Three light, right? three, three yeah. Light. So if he's Zillow. And then and then throws a card. His, right. He's gonna save his officer. Yeah. Yeah. Because then he yeah. Zillows it and then throws a card. Actually, do you want to bring up the smuggler, you know, Victor? Alliance smuggler? Just so we can see the... Yeah, yeah Alliance smuggler. Just, put a, just the regular. Just put a card on the table. Oh, okay. Well, just so we can see the search. Was he, what so did he get? one and plus of accuracy and stuff. Oh, he, yeah, so he burned a card. You're right, Stefan. Yeah. So okay, he's stunned. Okay, so he's, looks like he's only doing two damage and stuff. And a stun. Well, he does his job, I suppose. See... I kind of question that because why don't you just add the red and you're going for yep. full damage? Yeah. Surprise. You wanted, you wanted the surge. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. But now and the officer can shoot back. The green is stunned, though. Yeah. But the, the least he could shoot back, right? Oh, yeah. Or, or, or move just on a move. Yeah. Or you, you focus the attention on the smuggler instead of going up and up invader, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe too far. The jet. The jet. They. He did activate it. Yeah. They got the traits. Yeah. yeah. So he's got Vader. And the officers. Officers. And, and uh, yeah, he's going to protect yeah. his officer. See? Oh, yeah. You look like you're looking for something. 
Yeah, now he's only got the one left, right? Yeah. That's a smart move. Oh. It's over the other chair. Do you want it? It's definitely tight. You can't get much tighter than this, yeah. guys. Oh, 32 31. 23 minutes to go. Ontario I still, Regional. I still feel like this could go to time. Yeah. It'll be yeah, like it a one or two point game. Yeah. <clears throat> now, these guys won't have a. Sh can they make it? Does he have urgency, maybe? I don't think he can make it. Wow. Carl. Carl. This is positioning of his Jets and his invaders awesome. Because he, he made them effective. They scored points, and now they're just out of, out of, out of, out of line of sight. Yeah, that's right. It's really good. Where, where did the officer go to? He hit here. Oh, he so he unstunned and hit, hit over in the corner, and the, like, well, in the middle of the board. See, I, I don't know, think though. he's going to get around here. And even, even if he kills the smuggler, it's not, it's not enough. So yeah. Better to save his points. And, uh, yeah. Interesting. So let's see. One, two, three, four. Yeah, like even with urgency, he's not going to be able to get a shot on anybody. Well, no, it kills. Four. Three points. Yeah. So Gideon, the smuggler, and the two crates next turn. Yeah. Well, yeah. could do it, yeah. Yeah. Would, would you keep Gideon alive just to put the, well, the boxes uh, right there? No, you can put them in. No, but the or, actually, yeah, no, that's but a good idea. That, um, yeah. Yeah, but no. Carl has to put them up here. If he keeps Gideon alive, yeah. he can put them right put there. Them, but you put all four. Yeah. And then you score them all. There. Score them all with your jets. Yeah. And then kill Gideon. That's eight points. Yeah. And then after you kill Gideon, seven points. If he oh, pulls this off, this is, this is going to be one of the best matches I've ever seen. <laughs> Like it's it could have gone either way. Like, yeah. oof. one point I thought Py had this in the bag. No, no, I, and now anything you, can happen now. I told you that you would bring Vader right in the middle. Where oh. he, and Vader, wow! When he starts, oh. this is one they're gonna want to watch on the forums, man. This is a cool match to show the power of Vader. And Py has, you know, he doesn't have any big names. No, I like list. that. I like that. It's, I was pointing that out from the very his first match. I said, oh, I like that you don't you have Kotun in here. It's cool. You don't have one of the big guns. You know how to use her. Then you can like with her abilities. Yeah. She's awesome. And then just in case he runs into a uh, list with white die, he's got her ability to cancel the uh, dodge when you when your friendly troopers attack. So he's just gonna run him, run him and hide him. Second officer. Yes, I am. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, he really is. Mm, I don't know how much I like that. Yeah. I mean, he's uh, nice and hidden, at where least. Do you want, where, where do you want Pierre to place his two uh, boxes? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that's true. Because, oh, you're right. If he's stuck in the middle, then the officer's going to... Yeah, no, that's a good move. Carl made a good move. Carl, Carl probably oh, man. Oh, man. Face to face. Face to face. Oh, he's face. going for getting in here. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Yep. This is crazy. Oh. So an action to move two spaces and then do an attack. Oh, man. Or attack adjacent. He's going to add a card in here. Is he adding in a black? What's he going to do here? He's thinking. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay, well, Ooh, not the not greatest Vader roll, but... Didn't yeah. He have, didn't he have some damage or no? One, two, no. three, four. Yeah. Got a, roll he, the yellow? Uh, he's got, yeah, he's got... He's, got, a, he's got, a, got one built in as well, yeah. Oh, yeah, that, that, that'll do it. That that'll be it. four. Because he, does he have any other damage? No, that's five. No, yeah, but he gets five. the plus one. He gets the plus one. Yeah, that's it. It's five damage. Just three points for scoring Gideon. Carl, three points. Wow, takes the lead. Ooh. Wow. You see, you see that's with the wow. adrenaline pumping. I don't know that Ed Cal wanted to kill oh, something. Oh man. Now Vader, now Vader can get into position because he's got one more move action. He can yeah. take a move action. Here. Yeah. He did kill oh you. man! He yeah. So he's not feeling good about his chances, regardless. Yeah. <laughs> and then can he try force choke at the end of the round? Yeah. Uh, I get, love how you went. Get the not the range. <laughs> For force, yeah, he says he has a line of sight. I, I think. Side, yeah. Side nah, he's got it. Yeah. He he's got, he doesn't have line of sight. You don't think? Mm, it'll be. They'll have to look. 
<laughs> nope. No, Swing around. Is pumping. <laughs> oh wow. You're right. The tension must be really uh, heavy there right now, Stefan. I think I'm gonna drive the first oh, hour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna leave the both of them on the back. Uh -huh. <laughs> you guys, you guys get it out, get it out of your system. <laughs> we are either they're gonna keep talking about it or they're gonna just be very quiet. Uh, yeah. You should have done this. Uh, no. Wow, 34, 32, 18 minutes to go. You're gonna he, you're gonna hear some church uh, words. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of sacra. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Okay, so we're placing the uh, the crates down. So Carl, he's gonna. I see what you're saying earlier. He could have left Gideon up at top. That, that was the best play. Yeah. Yeah. But the adrenaline pumping. You yeah. Want to kill uh, yeah. You want to kill. Yeah. And Vader wants to kill things. Yeah. <laughs> Cal is playing Vader. <laughs> like Vader should be. Yeah. Playing. Like Vader should be playing. So he's gonna put the two. Uh, Officer. Oh, I can't even see him there. I was like, where is yeah. that Maybe. guy? It's in he's, camouflage. He's the two crates and then force choke. Smoke. Yeah. Oh, but Pierre with the four crates, he's getting at 40. And those crates are not going to be easy. One, two, three, four. You can get, so you can get two with Vader. Cal's going to need... Cal's gonna have initiative. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. If PY gets the four crates, yeah. it's 40. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. He doesn't have to kill anything. So oh, he can move two. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he, he still gets two. to move up. Yeah. Oh, so he kills dead. the smuggler. So Force chokes the smuggler for two points for Carl. Oh, man. You're kidding me. He just needs the two crates. Oh. Uh, so if. If PY oh doesn't God. get initiative, yeah. his officer's is... gonna finish the game. Yeah, you're right. You gotta be kidding I me. Just played... Oh, I just played it. Yeah. No. No. Oh, yeah. no. He burned it. He burned it with a... Wow, that's gonna be the, the the talk of the car ride. Depending on how this ends. Well, that's the thing. He's only gonna be. I don't. Can he pick up all of them? No. I don't only think he can. Two. And then the officer's gonna pick up. If Vader's gonna activate and uh, smash. That's the thing. Yeah. I think Carl still has it. Oh, yeah, they, called they called it. it. Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so Carl Good game. Yeah. Wow.